Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on Challington Farm. Today I think we're going to be doing a bit of mowing because I'd like to do some hay baling and the field of my choice today is field number 20 and someone else did request this as well and I think that is actually the, we own two grass fields, 18 and 20. We've done 18 so I may as well do 20 this time. I'm not sure how, how big it is, it's quite a long field, quite a wide field but it's not really massive so um, until we get there, can't really say how big the field is. But first, this tractor is pretty mucky. So let's get it cleaned off. I'll just take it over to the pressure washer first of all. Which I think I hid in the weeds in there. Yes, I did. Probably the first time I've washed this tractor since we've owned it. There, that's looking much better. Okay, so now we have a nice clean tractor. I now attach to the mowers. In fact, first, I better just put the steering wheel column down there. Looks a bit weird. Right, here we go. and the front mower as well. With these two it makes short work of cutting any field. But while we still have the daylight, we're going to do that field and then probably um, in the next day in game, we will turn all of the grass over and we'll get it really drying off in the sun. We should probably check the weather forecast actually. Uh, today's sunny. How can it go from 27 degrees in the day to three degrees at night. That is quite a difference. Anyway, there's no rain in the near future. There's a bit on Sunday, but that won't worry us with our haymaking because we should have it all done in a couple of days. So all I have to do now is remember where the entrance to the field is. I think I did point it out a few videos back. Somewhere on the left here. It's before the river. Here it is. Right, which way does that gate open? Oh yeah, it's a pretty small field actually. It shouldn't take us too long at all to cut this. So we'll unfold the rear mower. And we'll get the front mower switched on. Let's begin. As we've already done the silage bales, there's no need at all to do any more silage bales. So I think the hay bales would be the sensible option. But something I also need to do is a mower on the front with a forage wagon on the back. Or indeed I could just do a whole field and then row it all up and then pick it all up with a forage wagon. It just depends which way I need to go about it. But as we don't really have many animals, if any animals actually, um, I can't really see the need of doing a massive field just for the grass because it's only for the sheep. And the cows can have mixed ration so I think for now we'll just continue as we are doing I would like to buy another field but at the moment we're just trying to regenerate our money Nice sunset over there. A few old buildings as well. This is of course not too far away from the other field which we did cut for number 18 not so long ago. All those bells are actually still in the grass field where we left them. So I think 
at some stage I'm going to have to go and fetch a few on a trailer with the loader and take them back to the yard. Yeah, buying animals is going to have to be a priority because I've been playing on this map for quite a long time now and I've not really done anything with the livestock, so I'm going to have to. It's been a long time. I'll have to do that in an episode or two's time. Again, we're really close to the train. We're just on the other side of the other field we're in. So the train line is still going alongside us. Getting on well. Most of the field has been cut now. And uh, I've just been thinking, we've got quite a bit of grain in storage, and I said I was going to store it until we needed it. But I think we actually do need it. We need the money because I want to buy the livestock and also some other things as well. So I think it would be sensible to actually sell the wheat which we harvested. So once I've gone back to the yard, I'll attach onto the IT runner trailer, we'll put the tipper back onto it and we'll go and sell as much as we can in one trailer load. We also have some barley and a few other things in the storage as well but not really enough to justify taking a big trailer. We'll have to take a small one. Just that small bit left. And something which might interest a few of you is I've been working on my compact tractor, ride on mower, whatever you want to call it, uh, Camtax Diesel, and I'm in the process of restoring it as I have mentioned in another video, probably a month or so back now. And I said I was going to do a little restoration video series on it and put it on this channel and episode one is pretty much done actually it's almost ready to be published and uh, you should be able to see my progress of what I'm doing to it basically if you, if you didn't hear what I said in the other episode I think it was a Cobble Park Farm episode um, I am stripping it down and rebuilding it and I'm replacing anything which needs to be replaced and painting everything well I'm spray painting actually not brush painting anything because that doesn't really good, leave a good finish uh, so yeah I'm just basically restoring this rider mower I call it a rider mower but it's a fairly large one so I don't know I, I kind of think it should be called a compact tractor it's in between the two really but nonetheless I am restoring it and I'm going to do a video series but yeah, I'm going to put it on this account because I know quite a few of you are interested in that. And I used to put them on my other account, but it hasn't really got many subscribers, so obviously I get a lot more views over here. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, mechanics, or just basically if you're just interested in seeing a restoration, then you should be able to see that here very soon. But we'll turn this tractor off here and we'll go and get another one and uh, attach onto the IT runner. 
I'm just thinking where the Massey Ferguson is. It may even still be attached to it. Oh no, that's got the auto stacker on. The Deutzfahr has got this one. So I'll just move this one over here. And I'll put the Massey Ferguson on it. I don't think the Deutzfahr would be a very good tractor to actually pull a full trailer load of grain. It's a little bit too small. But I can attach onto the new trailer. It's the blue container just here that we need. I do like that pack, that DLC. It is very handy. I think I'll just put the toilet's fire away somewhere. Now I need to find a place to put the auto stacker. I'm not sure the best place for it. Uh, most of the sheds are actually full. Although I did put the mowers over there so I could put it in here. there and we want the IT runner just here. This track needs a wash as well. Probably should do that. Has anyone else looked at the mod contest mods? I've looked at a few. They look really good. I played with the Massey Ferguson, one of the Massey Ferguson, a small one, I can't remember the number. Uh, but that one was really well done, I really did like that one. If you haven't seen them, head over to the Farming Simulator official website and go to the Mod Contest page. And they're all there to download. Definitely worth trying out. You can also rate them as well. And uh, obviously the one that comes out best will win. It'll win the Mod Contest, but there are a number of winners because you can you can still win, I think, if you come in 25th place or something. Obviously the prize isn't as big. But this is wheat that we're loading into here. Still won't fill the trailer, but at least there's more wheat than anything. There. And the field which we've just cut tomorrow, or it might not be actually, because I might be doing a Euro Truck Simulator video tomorrow, uh, for the first time in a long time. But next episode, we will turn all that grass over, and then we'll row it up and bale it. We'll row it up and bale it at the same time, probably use the Follow Me mod. And we'll take them to the yard, and then that can be the time when we go and buy some animals. It looks a bit busy here. There's a car coming but I'm going to go. Road seems we've got so much busier than before. Oh look, there's our maze. Forgot about that. It's all growing. The growth rate's on slow but it's still coming through fairly quickly. I mean that is where the money is. So much money in silage. I'm actually wondering what, the, what these fields cost because 
I think different map makers do different prices depending on the size of the field anyway uh, so like in the original map a field which is the same size as a modded map may be a different price so I'm sure the mapper can adjust the price but I'm just thinking how much they are we should probably go and have a look and see what they cost But first, we need to sell our grain. We're getting better, that's for sure. It's another £17,000. I think that is all of the grain that we got off that field a few episodes back. So field 19, for example. This is a grass field. What does it cost? It's not a big one. It's a pretty small field, actually, looking at it. Even smaller than one we just cut. So you wouldn't expect it to cost much. Yeah, that's, that's quite expensive compared to Cobra Farm. That is actually pretty steep for this size field. So if a field that small costs almost 19000 imagine what field 14 would cost. We actually own a really big field, 15. Luckily, we wouldn't want to be buying that one. Anyway, back to the yard. I'll drop it off. And when we get back to the yard, I'll get the equipment which we need next time and put it on the tractor. We need the windrower, or the rake, depending on what you call it, and we also need a baler. So if we get them ready, then we should be all ready for next time. I'm just trying to think if we've actually got a, a windrower. I don't know if we do. Although we must do. Yeah, we must do, because I used one before. I have to go and find it. So, where did I put them? That is a really good question. Maybe... Oh no, there it is, down there. So, I put that on this tractor. I can stay there and we'll turn that one off. This tractor, we need to remove the mows and then put a baler onto it. I need the round baler. Where did I put the round baler? Must have lost that one as well. Oh no, there it is. How did I get it in there, that way around? Hmm. It's a bit boxed in. So there we go, that is that on the baler. Always very handy to have that reset button. And finally, we need this tractor because we need to actually uh, turn the grass over. 
and I don't think we have a tether. So I'll have to have a look here. Um, where are we? Tethers. No, we don't. We don't need a big one. So luckily we can afford the coon. So all that's left to do now is to go and pick that up from the shop, bring it back to the yard, and then we're ready for next time. There it is on the back. Probably should have just left it up the field actually, because it was closer than the yard. But we'll keep them all in the yard, just for now. Just in case we don't do them straight away. But there we go, we've got the crew ready, the fleet of tractors is all ready to go and finish that field off. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time when we finish off that field. Thanks for watching and bye for now.